tutorial I'm going to show you how you can add an add to cart button to your virtual tour. So if you have a virtual tour of a shop like this one who sells shoes and bags and they have an online store, you can actually add the add to cart button to it. I've done here with moving dots, you can click on it and then you can scroll down and click on the add to cart button to then have the, the item in your cart straight away on the website of that client. So I'm going to show you today how you do that. Well, we are going to use a website built with WooCommerce and in WordPress. So I will show you how to create the add to cart link using your WooCommerce website. Of course, you can use any other website. You can put whatever link you want behind this button. It's just an example of how easy it is to sell something through a virtual tour. To create that link is to go to your website, your WooCommerce area and click on products. And then here you have all your products. What you need to find is the product ID, which in this case is 374. And to make the button go directly adding the product to the cart and going directly to the checkout, we are going to create a link. In this case, I have done, this is your website link. So this is a temporary link that I have for this website. Then you write cart or carito forward slash question mark add dash to dash cart is and then this here is the id of your product so in your case you're going to have to put your website name so here it is yourwebsite.com cart or carito if it's in spanish question mark add dash to dash cart is 374 and once you've done that you will see that if i click on this link it opens and the products added to my cart immediately. So there's two now because I did one earlier. So if I delete this and try it again, I will click on the link and automatically that product is added to my cart and I can go and see my cart and check out. And now you go over to my 360 to start adding the add to cart button to your virtual tour. You select, um, you obviously have the products here so you drag the ball to the screen and choose the info icon this image we will change for something else so we're just going to delete it and we're going to choose a new image i have already chosen a gif image that i would like to use which is uh, look, this image here which is a gif i'll show you later how to uh, how to choose that it's too big now, so I'm going to make that 30 pixels. It's up to you how big you make it, but I'd like to make it quite small. Click OK. Now you see it's here. So you can put that anywhere near the, near the item that you're trying to sell. Open in a pop-up. And here you're going to add maybe the title of your product, which is, this is the title. Then we're gonna add an image of the product. You can choose as many images as you like, it's up to you. And I'm going to choose this image as the main image. It's still too big, so I'm gonna make that 300 pixels in width. That looks good. You can add some product details, which I will also copy from the website, which is here. I'm just literally copying the text and I'm going to paste it in here. Don't want to have any of these. That's just up to you what you want to do with it. Maybe we should see here a little title product details. Make that bold and select all and center it. So it's nice in the center. So now you have your one image and your product details. And most importantly, we're gonna add the add to cart button. I wanna put it right underneath my image. So I'm going to add an image here, image, browse server, and we're gonna choose this one, add to cart. I make the width 300. And here you see now you've got the add to cart button, but now we want to link that. So we click on the button and we click on the link here. And now what you need is the URL we created before. 
and paste that here and click OK. So now we have the Add to Cart button with some details and another image. Right, when I'm done, I'm going to say Save. I'm going to publish the tour and I'm going to go to the tour. And as you can see here now, you have the flashing button. Click on it and you can see here the information of the product, whatever you put in there. And when I click on Add to Cart, it opens in the website and the product has now been added to my cart so I can go and pay for it. Go to Giphy.com, which is a link I'll put in this blog. In this case, I added the search word search and then you get all these different um, search icons. But you can, for example, say dots, for example, and then you'll get loads of dots that are pulsating and everything else. What you do is once you found the dot that you would like to work with, um, say that you wanted to work with this one, then you can see here that it's got a transparent background, which is what you need. You need something that has no background. Um, you can't actually download it, but if you then click right click and you save the image, so you save image as and you put it on your desktop and then upload it to My360, it will work. So you um, on your desktop, it probably won't work. So don't be alarmed if it doesn't look like a GIF image on your computer. Um, but once you've uploaded that image to My360, it will automatically convert to a GIF image. Card button, just go to Google Image Search and add to card button PNG. Make sure it's transparent so that the back, there's no background. Um, and there's loads of images that you can choose from. You can even use this one, for example, as, um, as the icon that you want to use instead of the the dot that pulsates, you want to just put an icon there, that's fine too. You can add anything you want, so you just download any image from there and upload that to My360.